Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Let's Play Dear Easter. Ja, ich habe dieses Spiel irgendwie heute irgendwie mitbekommen, dass das ein sehr, sehr äh, interessantes Spiel sein soll. Und ich dachte mir, wir werden dieses Mal zusammen Let's Playen. Und zwar in einem Blind LP. Ja. Ich weiß nicht, worum es geht. Ich habe mich nicht Dear informiert. Esther, I sometimes feel as if I've given birth to this island. Somewhere between the longitude and latitude, a split opened up, and it beached remotely here. No matter how hard I correlate, it remains a singularity. An alpha point in my life that refuses all hypothesis. I return each time leaving fresh markers that I hope, in the full glare of my hopelessness, will have blossomed into fresh insight in the interim. Ja. Es geht schon mal gut los. Eine kleine Information dazu. Dieses Spiel ist nur mit englischem Text. Und ich habe kein, noch keine Ahnung, wo lang müssen wir gehen. Okay, also das ist mal Schnappe geht automatisch an und aus. Wir wollen hier nicht viel machen. Es ist eine herrliche, eine herrliche Grafik, muss ich sagen. Also folgen wir jetzt einen Weg nach oben und schauen uns weit das Kind an. Ein herrlicher, herrlicher Himmel. Ich bin relativ begeistert für so ein kostengünstiges Spiel. Oh. Hier geht es tief hinab. Und ich glaube nicht, dass wir hier runter sollen. Ich denke mal, wir müssen zu dieser Station, die da so rot aufleuchtet. Sand. Das Meer. Und ja. die Menschen nicht alles so in den Müll ins Meer werfen. Eine Unverschämtheit. Papier. Soll uns das ein Hinweis darauf geben, wie wir Menschen mit der Umwelt umgehen? Ah, eine Tränke. 
Treppe, nehme ich an, auf der wir uns jetzt begeben werden. Those islands in the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time. Sleeping giants, somnambulist gods laid down for a final dreaming. I wash the sand from my lips and grip my wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading diaries. The mount is clearly the focal point of this landscape. It almost appears so well placed as to be artificial. I find myself easily slipping into the delusional state of ascribing purpose, deliberate motive to everything here. Was this island formed during the moment of impact? When we were torn loose from our moorings, and the seatbelts cut motorway lanes into our chests and shoulders, did it first break surface then? When someone had died or was dying, so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. We are not like Lot's wife, you and I. We feel no particular need to turn back. There's nothing to be seen if we did. No tired old man parting the cliffs with his arms. No gifts or Bibles laid out on the sand for the taking. No tides turning or the shrieking gulls overhead. The bones of the hermit are no longer laid out for the taking. I have stolen them away to the guts of this island, where the passages all run to black, and where we can light each other's faces by their strange luminescence. Oh Gott. Da vorne. Sehen wir was? Es sieht aus wie ein gekentertes Schiff. Dort werden wir uns wohl hinbegeben. Ja, liebe Leute, ich hoffe... Dear Esther, I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiraled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. This hermit, this seer, this distant historian of bones and old bread, where did he vanish to? Why, asked the farmers, why, asked Jacobson, why bother with your visions at all, if you're just to throw your arms up at the cliff and let it close in behind you and seal you into the belly of the island, a museum shut to all but the most devoted?
sind wir hier ganz alleine auf dieser Insel. He still maintains he wasn't drunk, but tired. I can't make the judgment or the distinction anymore. I was drunk when I landed here, and tired too. I walked up the cliff path in near darkness and camped in the bay where the trawler lies beached. It was only at dawn that I saw the bothy and decided to make my temporary lodgings there. I was expecting just the aerial and a transmitter stashed in a weatherproof box somewhere on the mount. It had an air of uneasy permanence to it. Like all the other buildings here, erosion seems to have evaded it completely. Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and have cross-referenced them within a millimeter using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rear-view mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. 